So, yeah. Okay, so we're here at the Samsung. Yeah. So what, what is that? Uh, this is a multi-layer display. Yeah. A multi-layer display consists of um, two TFT LCD overlaid yeah. one on top of another. Yeah. with one backlight source. Okay. So with the two LCD panels, we can create pseudo 3D um, and have really amazing effects uh, and user interfaces. So the LCD, one of the LCDs it actually, is actually transparent? Well, most LCDs are inherently transparent. Yeah. So, um, so with our technology, patented technology, we can actually um, overlay the two LCD panels yeah. without causing any uh, Moyer interference. All right. Yeah. So can you d demonstrate something? Yep, sure, definitely. So this is kind of a, a desktop widget uh, demonstration. And what we can do here is we can actually maneuver all the widgets and place them wherever we want to. But as you can see, within each widget, there's um, real depth in the, in the content. So with this, um, with this map, you can see there's popping um, icons and highlights, which will be, cannot be achieved on a standard single layer panel. Um, another example is this um, drawing program where when you're editing something, it's actually on the front layer, but as soon as you let go, it actually drops to the rear. So straight away you have differentiation between um, front content and rear content. Yeah? Yeah. So exiting out of this, I'm just going to load... Uh, oh, this 3D effects. Yes, uh, balloon. So basically using two panels, we don't actually yeah. have to create 3D. Two panels, we have a 2D image on the front, 2D image on the rear, and due to the relative positioning, it actually creates this volumetric space okay. within just using two panels. Cool. So loading another example. Okay, so using it for web pages, what we can do is, with our technology, we actually have a plugin for most um, yeah. browsers, uh, that what we can do is using our screens, we can highlight things that we want to pop to the front and rear. So let's say we want to look at images only, we can pop all the images to the front display and everything ticks and links on the back. So if you want to see the links only, the links will pop to the front. Whoa. And if we want to see text, the text will be on the front. So any of these could be selected Whoa. depending on how your browsing affects you know, your, your behavior. So that's a really cool um, application. And so add this magnifier. This is a very simple demonstration of uh, what we can do when we differentiate, oh. separating content from the rear panel and front yeah. panel. So what you see here is um, an overview of all the pictures, yeah. let's say in Photoshop and um, or professional photographer sorting out pictures. What we can do on the front is actually have a magnifier that can actually zoom in. It gives you that real, more realistic kind of interface between the two. And also we can zoom the front zoom. screen. Oh, nice. All right. So when is it launched? Uh, when, when, when do you... Um, it's still under negotiation with Samsung yeah. and we're still trying to source like, uh, quite a few panels that we, you know, to use to build this. But I think the uh, tentative date is probably Q1 2009, um, but that's still to be um, solidified. So it's going to be business to business kind of thing? Uh, yes, it's going to be a desktop, desktop monitor and yeah. it's probably most likely going to be a 20.1 inch. 20 yeah. by 1 inch? 20.1 inch. 20.1 inch. 1 inch, yeah. Cool. Okay, thanks. Thanks.